Welcome back to Elden Ring, everyone. Uh, we are here in Rhea Lucaria, but we're not going to be here for long. People have very correctly pointed out that I was here in the streets of Sage's ruins, and I totally missed, like, the most important thing here, which is Roxling. Roxling is a gravity-based spell. It's a spell that everybody uses, and it's right here, and I completely forgot about it. See? I even had like a mental note of it, but I just didn't act on it. So that's going to be something we will correct right now today. We will be picking up good old rock sling, which is going to be easier said than done, but not really because it's right here. The only annoying thing here is, yeah, this inflicts scarlet rod, but Jesus, hold on. How the hell do I have this much Scarlet Rot resist? Well, whatever. I honestly don't mind. Uh, we don't even need to fight the enemies. What we are here for is this. Rock Sling. This thing is very powerful. And the great thing about it is that because we have the Meteorite Staff, the Meteorite Staff actually boosts gravity spells. So... We are in a good position. We are in a very good position. I think I'm gonna get rid of Scholar's Shield for now. Yeah, this one is the one that I'm using the least. You, you guys know what this spell is. If you've ever watched someone play Elden Ring, um, you've seen this spell. <laughs> it's, it's pretty popular. It's a pretty good one. Alright, in today's video though, what we're gonna be doing is progressing in Rhea Lucaria. I know I said I wouldn't do Renala and we're not even gonna get to Renala today because uh, she isn't easy that, to get to. That's not what I meant to do. I meant to use my sword a little bit. You're not gonna get to Renala today but we're still gonna progress inside the academy itself and just kind of see what happens. Man, I don't want to waste this on this enemy, but it don't matter. Oh, shit. That's super lucky. 28. B scaling only. Huh. But I bet you can upgrade it. That's the thing. This has to be pretty good if it has 28 requirement, right? I, again, I've sort of looked up the tiers. Oh, you know what? I totally wonder. Oh, hell yeah, you can. Who's cheesing now, bitch? Right back at you. All the years I've had enemies hitting me through walls. It's good to return the favor. Anyways, we have Abductor Virgins here. Which is always a bit of a weird phrase to say. Jesus. Uh, and where do we need to go? Hold on a second. It's been a while. I know we need to get up there. I think in order to do that... the hell? Oh, it's a crystal crab. I like, totally don't remember half this shit. Like, legit. Are you... I did not know you followed me. Right here. Don't ask me how none of those attacks he did hit me. I'm just going with the flow, but definitely picking up the golden seed. Yeah, let's go for a quick, like, raid run around here. Of course, there is an abductor virgin chasing me. Feels like I'm on some incel subreddit page. Got them abductor virgins. But yeah, cool. We need to go up there. Yeah, let's do it. 
And if I remember correctly, there is a trick to this. Are you... Okay. I was like, are you not just gonna... Not gonna jump over? And that trick is... The last minute dodge. Damn, I'm good. Oh, this is the dude. How do you like rock sling, bitch? You don't really like it, do you? This dude is a fairy monster. He or she, I don't know. Oh, fuck. Right back at you, right? I should have kept more of my magic spells as in my MP I don't think you have any flasks left yeah idiot uh oh who's the idiot now well he's really bad at avoiding spells L don't let him get the shield out oh, fuck. what spell is that Yeah, that guy was a lot more difficult in the first run. Again, he's a bit of a parry monster, so you gotta be careful with him. But anyways, I think that actually reads, leads right to Renala, right? I'm sorry about that. But before we do any of that, we... Do have a bunch of shit to collect inside this place. And again, I don't know about Renala right now. I feel like there's potential there for just shit to go wrong. And by shit I mean like she's very, very spell resistant and I literally have no other offense other than magic. Cool. I'm just gonna make a quick turn around here. Actually, there's something up here as well. Yeah, there is. Aside from the pots. Cracked pot. Maybe it's only the pots. Sorry, pot bros. Man, once you find out these are like the baby pots you sort of kind of start feeling bad. That is a dick move tarnished. But hey. They just had to add Jarberg, didn't they? To make me feel emotionally invested into fucking walking pots. Anyways, let's move on. See how the resistant to magic these guys are? I mean, I think this weapon is dealing a lot more damage, even though it's doing way better than my standard sword with the magic infusion. It's kind of crazy how much better it's doing, but still. God, that does a lot of damage. I think the deal with Rock Sling is, and I might be totally wrong here, but I don't think I am, is that it does physical damage. It sort of works like the dark spells in previous Souls games, in that it, it's doing physical damage, which makes it super effective. Especially against magic resistant enemies. So there is a staff here that I want to collect, which is way above our current level. The carrion staff, I think it's called, which requires like 70 int or something like that. Something insane. 
I don't know that. Or 60 or something. Again, something ridiculous. And I don't even know how the hell I'm going to get to that point. I'm going to have to, like, farm like crazy. I tended to just skip this place. God, that's so good. That's an interesting spell. What is that? The spins. Got them spins though. Whoa, okay. Oh, there's another... Dodge like an idiot. What the hell is he? Is he breakdancing? Did you see that? That was crazy. Yeah, because I skipped these enemies too. This thing just freak out and go crazy like that. And I kept dying and I was like, yeah, screw this. That was some crazy shit though. I'm picking up all these items and all of these are magic related and I should probably check them out. These are like basically one time use spells, these items. Like the glintstone, not pebble, but ring, glintstone rock and all this. I think it basically gives you one casting of a spell. Or equivalent. The thing is though, now that I've been progressing with this character, I see where this is going in terms of the power level. The change between where I was like a couple of episodes ago and right now is... You can't even compare it. You can't even compare it. Like, and it, this is all that matters in, like, a mage character. You get a couple of the really good spells, and you're off, man. Like, you can just go ham on the enemies from then on. And I'm pretty much starting to get to that point. Uh, my sense of navigation is not good, as you guys know. But there should be a side of grace here somewhere, plus... The really important thing, which is again quest related. Oh, nice. Ooh. It's kind of what I want, boy. We can also visit Egil or EG or whatever his name is. And he sells somber smithing stones for this weapon. That's very good because somber smithing stones are way easier to get than regular stones. Pretty much, again, the last thing that is needed to complete this build is a good summon. And again, I know how OP mages are, so I'm gonna... I hate that attack. What the hell is... Did he just kill himself? He did. Oh, well, GG's. Um... I know how OP magic is. You don't have to tell me. There it is. That's the one. That's the one. It sucks though because I will have to like... There's no way back from here. Okay. This is shitty even with a jump button. There it is. It's the second Academy Glintstone key. No, actually, no, 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 this does lead to the side of grace, right? Because the side of grace is like out here. Or I'm totally stoned. It could be option B. Oh, you are in a... Okay, maybe. Maybe I've forgotten how to parry them. These guys... 
I'm like their nemesis, but this one gets a pass. I wonder if 120. Okay, still. Sorry, crab. So these things, do they give any stat boosting? Let me just check. Not that I'm going to wear one of these goofy ass things. I mean, seriously? <laughs> I mean, listen, trolling, I'm all behind that. This is a good troll set or a troll helmet. Uh, but otherwise, it's a bit of a goofy one. Shattering Crystal, this thing sucks, if I remember correctly. Hey, what are you doing? You're meant to be really easy. Uh, how well equipped do I feel for this? I don't know. I'm gonna get blasted, aren't I? It's not even hitting him. Fuck. I sort of thought this is how it's gonna go. This is a cheating bitch too, because... The reason is because... His arrows curve as they've always done in souls games for the enemies of course they got that homing there it is zur's glintstone staff this thing is absolutely insane uh where is it 52 it's only 52 okay i'm confusing it with something else staff of the primeval glintstone sorcerer zor only those who have glimpsed what lies beyond the wisdom of stone may wield it reduces casting time of all sorceries but consumes additional fp the question is always is that worth it and honestly until we use it i can't really make a judgment on it my feeling is that it's probably worth it my logic being that by the time you get to by the time you get to that stage where you have 52 intelligence you're going to have a shit ton of mp anyways and this is probably a staff you want to use for a boss as well where it doesn't matter as much cuz you know if it reduces the time of like one of those like azur comet or you know that like kamehameha wave it's just gonna be not even comparable. Speaking of, I need to pump my mind up a little bit. Cool. Uh, you can't do jack shit. Sorry, Bok. Anyways. This is what I'm here for. This guy's quest. Babish, I got something for you. You're most welcome to any of my... mm, I don't think you have to clear this shit out. I got what I wanted. You're willing to give your glimstone key to me. My, oh my. Thank you. I got you, boy. Thank you this is a nice NPC, though. He's one of the friendly ones. To resume my study of glimstone sorceries. I'm at the very stars. Erudition. Is this like an O face? Oh, he has dialogue. Thank you dearly. With your blessing, I will depart for the Academy of Thea Lucaria. Perhaps one day you'll pay me a visit. Now, you guys know how this is going to end. You guys have played Souls games plenty. I don't even have to say it, right? I don't even have to, do I? Alright, so if I'm not mistaken where he's gonna end up... If we reset, I just wanna make sure he's gone, which he should be. 
And this does give you a useful spell. That's why I'm doing this. Uh, Topsis Barrier, I think it's called, which is basically like great magic, sh not great magic shield. It's like a uh, magic barrier. And I think if we go to the study hall, no, 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 schoolhouse classroom. This is where he should be, if I'm not mistaken. Come on, bitch. Get parried. Just gonna check, but he's not in here. Maybe he's not here either. Why do I seem to remember him being here? Hold on, hold on. I've only like glimpsed this on a YouTube video, so I might be like completely stoned here. Hold on. Stealthy cut. Okay, I'm a total idiot. I gave up way too easily. Um he's he's right here. Sorry, Tops. Tops is barrier. That's that's the thing we're here for. This thing is apparently pretty powerful. Uh, da, 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 da. there it is. The lifelong pursuit of Tom's the Blonde Stone creates a magic force field that deflects sorceries and incantations. Hold to continuously create barriers. Future generations will learn. They will know the foolishness of the sneering sorcerers who ridiculed this theory, little realizing that it was in fact a discovery worthy of a new conspectus of the academy. Really cool. It's apparently pretty good against magic users. Uh, and of course, I can show it. I can show the shattering crystal that I've also picked up, but later. See, and then you can do like... It's crazy. We can demonstrate it too, not against... Not against this guy, because this one doesn't really cast, but the other ones for sure. All right, watch this. That's pretty cool. You gotta admit that's pretty cool. It has a long recovery though. Okay, try not to get killed here. You see, I like that. I like that spell. Um, whether it has any practical use, I'm not sure, but it's cool. All right, we need to get back to the round table and upgrade our stuff. I don't have enough charges, of course. I need to get more healing or more golden seeds. For sure. Okay, what we need to do is, we can also uh, advance this questline while we're here, it's going to be useful later. Alright, so you should be able to, yep, nice -o, nice -o, nice -o. let's check out the Ashes of War, I don't think I can do much here. Uh, yeah, this is a somber spell, so I can't really do anything with it. I mean, it's a somber weapon. What the hell am I talking about? You, you, you know what I wanted to say. Watch over her, please. God, the color of this doesn't match. I wish Bach had more of like a feature to change the color of items. I've said this so many times. 
I've said this so many times, it's really if like they want to have fashion souls, they need to let you change the color of garments. It should be easy to implement, right? I don't see why not. Alright, this should advance things. Perfect. All right. We'll get back to this later. Uh, for now, what I think I'm going to do is try to kill a dragon. I'm doing this on screen, yes, because this is sort of a significant event. Can I now kill Egg Heal? Get back on Rock Sling. Well, we'll find out. It's the damage that he deals that I'm more worried about. There's also, of course, the Knight's Cavalry person, the Ring Wraith, here as well at night. We should be actually pretty easy at this point. Alright, Dragon. Let's check this out. Jesus. That's a pretty good spell. Not gonna lie. That does quite a chunk of damage. Even if I'm not hitting his... Uh oh. Am I gonna get crushed by the tail? No, I'm not. God, no wonder everybody uses this fucking thing. Come on, go, 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 go. Thank you. I'm converted and convinced. Although I never had my doubts. Not this way. Oh, fuck. I was just about to say, the only way this guy can kill me if he does his stupid breath attack and I get stuck in it. And what happens? Exactly that. Not that it matters too much. I mean, this rock sling is great at stunning him too. Oh fuck. Jesus, has, it has good tracking. Wow, okay. That I wasn't expecting. For it to go that crazy on the tracking though. Shit. Torrent, no! Should be good. I mean, yeah, he's dead. Alright, Ag heal. That was... You were pretty easy. Not gonna lie. This rock sling, man, is absolutely insane. Again, I'm convinced. You don't need to convince me anymore. Um, yeah, I just wanted to try that. Obviously, the other dragons, they're going to be a little bit more problematic because they're way stronger. But this is a good start. And one more thing to try out here. First of all, we need to... Yeah, I'd like to, again, pump up my mind a little bit. What I want to do is this. Easy runes. I think this should be. What I gotta do though is kill this little camp here. Not that they're big of a like they're much of a distraction, but they're still that. All right. Are you ready to get rock slung? Oh 
Okay. I thought the tracking was a little bit better. I mean, it's still good. I'm not complaining. It's more of the speed of it. But... I have other options. This thing is fast as hell. Holy shit. Is he being stupid? What is he doing? The goddamn ring wraith, I swear. God, horse battles are awkward as hell. I know I could probably fight him off horse, but... I feel like it's more convenient this way. Oh shit! The damage he deals. Should have been using carrying a greatsword. Oh, is he dead? And I managed to leave his horse alive, right? Wow, that was not worth. Twenty four hundred souls, bro. I was expecting a little bit more than that. That was fun, though. Nice little boss gauntlet to, well, boss gauntlet to end the episode here again a good sort of trial slash test of the fact that we are a little bit more powerful than we used to be all right people here's the deal um what i'm gonna do is i'll wrap up the episode here next time around we'll move on in rea lucaria we'll try renala because why not otherwise the thing i'm gonna do is i'll clear out a lot of the optional stuff which i've been saying for like three episodes at this point i just haven't gotten around to actually doing which should make us more powerful for radon i really want to do radon because that's gonna unlock a lot of stuff all right we'll wrap it up here thank you guys very much for watching if you did enjoy make sure to like comment subscribe turn on post notifications and i'll catch you next time peace out and goodbye